I'm always hunting for some. Hey, Magpie, do you want me to answer the uh, touch right latch question now? Or just let me know whenever you want that. For songs, there where they don't belong. So I open fire Cause they won't be there long Okay, so the automation idea is here I'll, Let me just, uh, I'll create a new track Plus audio track Okay, so auto automation, if you hit A, it opens up your automation lines, and your default is volume. You can see which line it's showing right here, volume. So this line right here, if I click on it, it'll get bold, and now we can see it. Now I can add dots to it and change the volume of the part just like that. Now the latch and touch and all that stuff that that refers to when you're used doing the fader like a lot of times especially back in the old days you got your hand on this fader over here and you're moving it up and down as as the uh track is playing so you're like riding the fader like i'm gonna bring that vocal up right there and then down right there so you're like riding it the whole time when you're using the fader, that's what these things are all about. Touch means... I should have recorded this. <laughs> touch means... Good little tutorial. Touch means that it only is going to write automation while you're touching it. So as soon as you let go, like if we roll now, and you don't have to hit record, you just hit play, but it's in... Because it's on touch, it's ready to receive information. So now, as the track is playing, if you watch the volume line at the bottom, if I touch the fader, I pull it down. Now, as soon as I'm I, always hunting, it, as soon as I let go of the fader, it pops back up to where it was before I touched it. Now you might be able to imagine what latch is going to do. Here we can get get rid of all those. Get rid of that. Now latch is going to, as you do the fader, it'll latch to wherever I let go. So if it's going like this and I bring it down to here and I let go, it latches right to where I let go. I'm always... So that, that's how you, you draw that line. So then you've written this automation. It's written and then you put it on read and that just means it's reading the automation. If you cut this off, now it'll just go to wherever the fader is and you can move it manually. But cut it back on, it's reading this animation. And if you watch, on the left, you'll see the fader go down right there following the automation. And you can, all and you can write automation for absolutely every parameter in logic or in any doll really <clears throat> panning so we that's just volume <clears throat> you could do the panning you could do any knob and any effect if you have a delay you could cut on um right right just means it's like recording Yeah, right's dangerous. <laughs> Read that warning screen later. <clears throat> but really, as long as you're, if if you're just drawing, you don't have to worry about any of that. If you if you're just gonna come in and and draw the lines, which is a fun way to do it, and then you can see here, this is a fun little window. This shows that we're doing the volume line right now, but and there's no effects on here right now, so. We could do pan. If I change the pan, now it's the pan line down here. Boop, boop, 
left, right. <clears throat> but this could be any knob on any amp or effect or delay or plug-in. You can automate it. Let that make that delay go crazy for a second. So there you go. Any questions? Mute. Mute is the same way, actually. Mute is probably just an off-on state. So if you go in here to main, but you know, the way I would do it is, so here's, yeah, there is a mute. You can automate the mute. It'll draw a line here, watch. If I go boom and I hit mute, then I unmute. Here, wait. I'll put it on the latch. I guess it has to be in one of the writing modes. Latch, play. Yep, see, there it goes. So it's just off or on. All the way up is on, and all the way down is off. <clears throat> so I, th that's just me hitting the mute button a couple of times. It wrote in that, that automation. But the way I would do it, usually, is just with a volume line. So if I wanted to mute, I would just I would just come into volume, throw in four dots, drag down the middle, and then you can move this around however you want to to mute out sections. Or for that matter, what I'd probably do is just uh, just hit um A to back out of automation, Z to zoom out. The way I the way I tend to mute is if I say I wanted to mute that right there, I would just select it, command drag over it, and delete. <laughs> All gone. That's the barbarian way. I'm always hunting for Magpie says, I was muting, unmuting tracks, you know, listening, but it was writing all that, all oh, right, didn't want it to, couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, okay, so that's probably because, I think if you're on read, you're safe. I just tried to write those mutes while I was on read. Read is safe. It's just reading the automation that's there, not write. The other three, other three modes are write modes, or other, yeah, are write modes. Touch, latch, and write. And you could just cut it off. So you must have been in touch or latch or right while you were doing that. So, all right, here's a trick. If you find you've done all this stuff and you don't want any of that, if you come up here under mix, delete automation to the right, delete all track automation, and you can just start over. Let's see if I can delete this track I created without accidentally deleting anything else. I'm always hunting for... I'll say it again. Okay, um, so up here under the menu, under Mix, Delete Automation. Go over to the right, Delete All Track Automation. And that'll get rid of all the track automation that you have in there, and you can start over. You can you can see the options in here too. There's also delete visible automation on selected tracks. So you could just open up the mute window and delete that. You know, delete all automation on selected track. I'm always hunting for songs. Oh no, yeah, I didn't refresh the. Uh, I probably should have refreshed OBS. It's been going for like 48 hours straight. But refresh the browser usually helps. And we are live on YouTube at the moment. 
on the Nathan's Land page. Oh, the barbarian method is, uh, I would just go say, I, oh, I don't want this part. I would just command, drag, and delete. Just delete it. I'm always hunting for songs There where they don't belong That was before I really knew what the issue was. You, were, you, you just had some accidental mutes in your automation that were... I, I thought you were trying to automate the mute. And I was telling you easier ways to do that, but you weren't even trying to do that. I'm always hunting for songs There where they don't belong So I open fire Cause they won't be there long I'm a hunter Got to stay strong I'm always making it right I'm a hunter <laughs> Anytime, anytime, yay to stay strong I'm always making Kai says do you still have the deleted part somewhere stored yeah for sure and uh, it, it gets a little tricky with take folders but the information's always there somewhere but like uh, like this guy When it's just a, a track like this, or a wave file that you drag in or whatever, or record. If I delete that, it's actually still right there. The way the, way the computers work, you know, is uh, this, so it, rec this is, uh, say you recorded this vocal. So now this recording is on your in in the folder of the project that you made this whole recording, and what we see here in the project is just a visual reference of that recording. So anything that you do here is what's called non-destructive editing. It's not changing the original file at all. It's always there in its entirety. You can't. You can, it doesn't do anything destructive to the actual audio file. This is all just a reference. And if I cut up the gain on this one little section, up or down, I'm just <clears throat> telling the computer to cut that section up. It doesn't actually increase the gain of that section on the computer. No, nothing happens. It's non-destructive. Good question. Good question. Next. <laughs> I'm always hunting for songs. There where they don't belong. So I open fire. Cause they won't be there long. I'm a hunter. Got to stay strong I'm always making it right It's all I do all the time 
I don't care if it's daddy. I don't care if it's mad. As long as it rhymes.
But we know it's beautiful. Producer-wise, how should it be treated? I'm always hunting for songs There where they don't belong So I open fire Cause they won't be there long I'm always hunting for songs There where they don't belong So I open fire Cause they won't be there long I'm a hunter Or a liar Got to stay strong I'm always making it right It's all I do all the time I don't care if it's dying I don't care if it's mine strong I'm always making it right It's all I do all the time I don't care if it's dying I don't care if it's mine As long as it There were they. 
they don't belong There where they don't belong There where they don't belong There where they don't belong So I open fire I'm always hunting for songs There where they don't belong So I open fire there long 
high Cause they won't be there long They won't be there long I'm a hunter I'm a Tuesday. to stay strong I'm always making it right or liar I'm a hunter or liar Got to stay strong I'm always making it right It's all I do all the time I don't care if it's dying I don't care if it's mine As long as it runs
and a dream for you. All right, I'm going to bounce this. Put it in the player. Take it for a drive soon. Let me see what it's called in here. Hunter Mix. Replace. Replace. Bam. All right. Bouncing. Be right back. Hello there. I'm Nathan Moore. Welcome to Nathan's Land. It's the virtual world for my songs and mischief manifested in the reality of the internet. I stopped touring several years ago, but I still write as many songs as ever, and my desire to connect with, perform for, and to inspire people is not diminished. So in asking myself, what would Woody do in 2022, I decided that the World Wide Web was the new lost highway, packed my bags, and headed for the basement. Now, many lights and cameras and actions later, you find yourself as a fly on the wall in this wondrous world where songs are born, raised, hoisted into the lofty skies of our dreams. Often when wandering through Nathan's land, you'll find me simply whittling away at a song or a puppet or some other magic trick. And you are invited to ask questions, suggest possibilities, contribute to the craft that is happening, or simply watch it like a fishbowl. You think the flowers should be a different color? You're probably right. Did a line just come to you for the song being spun? Chime in. And often there are actual shows in Nathan's Land, whether it's a more purposeful performance from me or hosting a game night or doing an interview or having a traveling band or troubadour stop in for a visit and to perform on the air. These shows will be advertised in advance and they're a chance for camaraderie and to be truly entertained talking showbiz. Keep Nathansland.com bookmarked and check in from time to time. You never know what might be happening. When I'm working on something in the studio, I cut on the live feed. Other times the player is streaming videos and music from my vast archives or I've set up some other kind of surprise for you. If you want to become a talking fly, you have to join Nathan's Land on Discord and gain the ability to interact in ways you're going to have to see to believe. Again, welcome. Make yourself at home and let's make some art. Let's talk about life and make each other laugh along the way. So you've made it to Nathan's Land and enjoy watching, but you see people interacting and want to know how to join in on the fun. That's where Discord comes in. Discord can be a little daunting at first, but once you get in, it will all soon become cozy and familiar. Like Facebook, Discord can be visited in any browser or with a standalone app, which is free and highly recommended. You have to sign up using an email and giving yourself a password so it knows who you are and what servers you have joined. Okay, some basics. What is a server? A server on Discord is simply a personalized online platform for interacting with friends through chats, direct messages, video calls, and so forth. When you join Discord, you can join any server you have an invite for. The invite for Nathan's Land is on the homepage of nathansland.com, right here. Simply copy and paste into the invite field in Discord and voila! you're in. Once you've joined the Nathan's Land server in Discord, I will be able to interact with you when the show is live streaming. I love to incorporate these interactions into the show, whether it's using your animated gifts to go with the music or running with your ideas about what should happen next in a recording and conversation, live performance, or whatever might come up. It's also a way to appear on the show or participate in games. In Nathan's Land, you can watch the show, but once you add Discord to the mix, you become a part of the show. Even when the show isn't live, our Discord is a fun, growing community with a wall, just like Facebook, but without the ads and algorithms. It's just us, and you can share anything you want at any time. 
Join Discord and help me write and record the songs that don't exist yet. Make requests and egg on the real-life visitors to the actual Nathan's Land studio where so much is about to happen. Joining the Discord server is also the very best way to get notified when Nathan's Land goes live. With the app on your phone, set the notifications to only at mentions. That way your phone doesn't blow up with every little chat, but instead you're just notified when someone mentions you, and I mention everyone whenever I go live, which could be any time, night or day. If you have any issues getting into Discord, just let me know through Facebook or my website and I will help you figure it out. I want you in the mix. Let's while away the hours and talk with all the flowers. See you soon. On Discord, we have a dog bot named Percy, created by Andy Gadiel, who can do all kinds of tricks. He can roll die, flip a coin, take poles, tell you definitions of words and words that rhyme with words. He can fetch Nathan Moore lyrics and all kinds of stuff. Let's focus on one of the most important tricks, that's taking your requests when Nathan is singing live. To get Percy to do his tricks, the commands always start with the percentage sign because it looks like dog ears. The command to make a request is percentage sign request, or percentage sign R for short, then a space, and then the name of the song you'd like to hear. Simply type that out, hit enter, and Percy will add your request to the list. And it works from wherever you're watching, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. Type that command in the chat and Percy will come running and bring it back to Discord. Now, what song do you want to hear? Words of hope aren't likely to float. Words of scorn aren't likely to rise Words of change go up in flames Right in front of our eyes Right in front of our eyes God, you're an idiot man I went walking today Folks along the way hate thinking that we aren't wise As we fall on our swords for the Darwin Awards And our only question is how many tries Our only question is how many tries God, you're an idiot man God, you're an idiot Just a no-brainer Might not be long on dry land God, you're an idiot
I did it again. Hey, Swaby, how's it going? I, I, what did I say? I was thanking Magpie profusely for sending in the harmonies, and uh, I got them up. I got that mix uploaded to the player. I'm gonna check it out here in a second. I got some new lavalier microphones that I haven't really taken for a test drive yet. I just plugged them in for the first time while we were watching those videos, and uh, I have some questions, so I'm, I'm gonna pull up a tutorial here to see if any of these people can help me. GoPros, or just using your ordinary phone. What matters the most is the audio. For example, my channel grew over time not because I have superior cameras, but my voice is clear and I was able to deliver what I promised on my video. Which is great and informative content. Everything starts with good audio, everything starts with good communication. Today we will review a dual channel wireless microphone system from Movo. They sent this for review but as always, this will be an independent review of Gadget Rev now. So today we will unbox it, check the features, and do a demo. Let's go to work! Let's start with the unboxing, by the way. If you're interested in... Have you heard the harmonies yet, or are you just logging in? Smaller than my mirrorless cameras. Great for outdoors, windy environment. We also have the wind mops for the lav mic and extra dead cat. Dead cats. We also have the metal clip for the lav mic. That's a new word I learned recently. A new phrase, dead cats, is these things that protect microphones from the wind. Also TRS to TRS cable and TRRS to TRS cable that connects your receiver to either your camera or a smartphone. We also have the lavalier mic. Later we will quickly set it up and show you how to use it. We also have the Movo pouch to put. I want to know the difference between the two outputs, the headphone output and the line output. Put your charging case or other accessories for travel. Is he going to geek out and really tell me? And most, lastly, the most of these reviews, quote unquote, <laughs> are like paid. USB-C charging cable. You can use your ordinary charging block and it will work. Now let's talk about the charging. Okay, so I found out that you can charge the receiver and transmitter in two ways. First is using the supplied charging case. The mic has a metal contact that charges them. Or, if you want to travel lighter, both the transmitter and receiver has their own USB-C port for charging. Great feature. So you get all of this for an affordable price. Now let's quickly talk about the lav mic. So let's discuss this lav mic quickly. This is a TR talk about the most important part of this package, the transmitter and receiver. The transmitter stands for TX and the receiver is RX. Don't be mistaken. So for the buttons, we have the mute set and back. The mute button is also the power button. If you long press it, it will power the transmitter. Short press to mute or unmute. The set button is to adjust the mic gain to plus and also enters the menu screen when you long press it. And the back button is adjusting the mic gain to lessen it and it's also the back button for the menu. You also have a nice LED screen to show the settings and the values. This is where you will find the mic and the lav mic port. Now the other part is the receiver. It looks the same and this is what you plug into your smartphone or camera. It stands for RX. The buttons look the same as the transmitter and it's almost the same function so it's easier to remember. The mute button also acts as the power button if you long press it. The set button enters the menu and increases the volume and the back button returns to the home screen and decreases the volume. It has the same nice LED screen to see your settings and values. And this is where you can find the headphone port to monitor the audio and the output port to connect to your cameras. I think this is it. This is the unboxing and features of the Movo WMX2. Let's do a demo. So right now this is the... Alright, he's not going to answer my question. I might, have to, I might have to Google. I have a feeling it's not going to be in any of these tutorials. Um, stereo out.
where's there's where's the where's the manual I might have to put on my magnifying glasses and open the manual Connect to smartphone, tablet, camera, recorder, or mixer with a supplied output cable. Let me see what they're... See, I'm hoping I could send them in stereo. Boy, that's noisy. All right, cut one of these guys on. <clears throat> Check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Test one, two. Check, check. Test one, two. Check. Check, check, test one, two, hey, hey, check, 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 really didn't like the line out for me with this cable I bought. Check, 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 hey, hey, All right, that's, that's the, the headphone, headphone out, there's a bit of a delay I gotta say I don't know what I think of that check check hey 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 very very noisy and the delay is terrible latency latency I'm latency I'm late and see oh man all right let me try a different cable
check, check. Hey, let's check one, two. It's cleaner. Latency still pretty annoying. Check, check. Test one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hey, welcome to the show. Is anyone watching? Is my... Hold on. Let me mute this other mic. Are my... Is my mouth lining up with the words? Is my mouth lining up with the words? See, I wouldn't be able to have a normal conversation with the headphones on. The latency is just enough to be completely upsetting. <laughs> you can't really talk. It just doesn't work like that. But, goodness, I don't know what to say about that. Hello. Does it sound good? Does it sound okay? Let's see. Maybe I should search for latency. It's definitely weird in the headphones. The other day I saw a bear out in the woods away out there. He said to me, why don't you run? I see you ain't got any gun. And so I ran away from there, but right behind me was that bear. But up ahead I saw a tree, a great big tree, oh, glory be. The lowest branch was 10 feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck. There's not a lot of action on this particular system in forums. I might have to return them. Ceremonic, huh? Not a lot of help. Oh, good. So it looks... As long as I'm not in headphones, but it, that's... Oh, whoa. Rattlesnake. The lat latency is terrible. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say about that. It makes me... Talk like a, the southerner I am. It makes me get all slow. 
<laughs> just so each word can finish. If I talk at normal speed, then I get completely confused. I can't even do it. I slow down immediately. Man, but why? Do I restore the settings? Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Test. Hey, hey. Check one, two. Test one, two, three, four. Huh. Man. Hello. It's maybe a little better, but still is weird. It's very distracting. Let's see. I can cut the other one on. There's so many things I love about these. Built-in rechargeable batteries, not having to swap out double A's all the time, which is sweet. Check, check. And the microphone, you can either do traditional lavalier mics or there's a built-in mic right in this thing. So you can just wear the thing. So that's nice. Way smaller. They charge in the case. Easily would fit in my camera bag, which is really sweet. There's a lot of pluses. But this latency, oh my god. What a buzzkill. I can't imagine. I wonder if it would trip me out, like if Dad and Kyle are in these, and I'm in headphones. And uh, I wonder if their lips not lining up in real life would be upsetting or if I could just not look at their mouth everything would be fine it's just a fraction of a second all right I should try the cable they included or try a different cable all together here Their cable is not great for a mixing board, though. It's really just a little eighth inch to eighth inch stereo, but it's stereo. I don't know what to do with that.
see if my bag of RCA cables has a trick in here for me. found an eighth inch to RCAs and the RCAs are the backwards version. Never see that anywhere ever. I guess sorry, right, I can make that work. This is getting ridiculous. Ain't no way this is gonna reduce latency. Check, check, one, two. Hey, hey. Check, check, test. Check, I'm gonna try the headphone. Check, one, two. Test, one, two, three, four. That's a little better. It's still weird, but. Check one, two, three. Does that sound better or worse? Is that what's going on with that? Check one, two, hey, 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 hey. Hello, hello, hello. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. I wonder what the difference between the headphone and the line out is. It's confusing. Hey, hey, hey. Check. The headphone's louder, for sure. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Ah, that's putting it in the left speaker. Check, test one, two. I can't believe anybody would be happy with latency though. It's not gonna line up with your camera when you edit it back if it's latent. I don't understand how it could be this latent and no one's talking about that. Unless everything that seems like a, a review is actually paid for by the company, which is more common practice now than it's ever been. And again, it's, it's all fake news. <laughs> it's just sad. Easy to, easy to be led astray. Ah, this latency is sad. Man, they might have to go back. It's a bummer. All right, let's
was going to take a little spin through Nathan's Land. Hear the new track. I'm always hunting for songs There where they don't belong So I open fire Cause they won't be there long I'm a hunter Got to stay strong I'm always making it right It's all I do all the time I don't care if it's dying I don't care if it's mine As long as it So it moves Making mountains move Anything less than I'm just taking a snooze Come wake me baby Got a dream for you I'm a I still don't completely know ex about producer-wise what the track wants. There's something about the stark hunter vibe that I miss a little bit. A lot of it, too, is like, you know, like casting a, a scene and always picture the session. <clears throat> and for a, 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 a single woman's voice, it... it it can uh it has that the that di the difference between a duet and a harmony or whatever or backups singing or a duet how you picture it in your head who's that who is that what's going on there <laughs> There's definitely a lot of nice parts there. I feel like the 
the solo section with the mm, that that needed something for a while now. That might be the answer right there for that part. We'll just live with it for a little while, see what happens. I guess I gotta deep dive a little bit more lavalier latency. I'm a little just sad to not see more stuff like on Reddit and just people talking in general about it. Like, how, how does this work? What did you do for this? Makes me a little nervous. I didn't really deep dive this. The reviews are so good. I just went for it. But you can't trust those always. That's cool. I'm glad it was lining up for you. I actually have a little delay on the video going out to the stream, so it probably worked even better for you. The uh, Yeah, it's incredibly frustrating on my end because it's just delayed enough that it you can't think straight. You're just like, it's just enough to make you like slow down your thinking and your t it's super distracting. I don't know how distracting it will be if I'm not wearing one of those <clears throat> and I'm in headphones. If you were in here wearing it and talking to me, would I be just a little unsettled because your lips weren't quite lining up? I could just keep maintain eye contact. No one is talking about this in forums. Every link that I'm finding... is some version of an advertisement for it. And all these people that are t testing it. They're all video editors too, and they probably just drag it and post and don't care. Because they're not live streaming. Smartphone and with the uh, uh, microphone and out. It's power on. I like the small footprint of this model. I do too. On the top, you can uh, plug the included lavalier, or you can just put in your shirt and talk, which is what I'm gonna do. The clip is plastic, just like everything here, but uh, I hope it's going to be good quality plastic. So let me plug this, uh, this to the camera and let's see the difference in sound. So now I'm, uh, uh, you are listening the audio from the mobile uh, microphone and I do not know if what I'm seeing is right but okay maybe a <laughs> little bit of latency but maybe it's my camera so let's go oh. to post production I'm going to show you the audio without edition I'm here in public park so you can listen maybe some cars over there. There is one uh, road, people walking, the, the birds, and the wind, a little bit of wind. 
uh, Air Force is over there, so every now and then some planes flying around. So you can edit in mind. I'm going to give you the audio, audio without edition, but you can improve what you are listening. Okay. So what I like is the small footprint. So <coughs> he noticed the latency. Man, oh man. Here, let me put this search in YouTube. What's up, everybody? Tony or Tytech check that it is muted, and if you want to unmute it, just press it again once. And then have any built. And batteries it simply just uses the power from your phone here we have a little status led we have a little monitoring That's port cool. for the microphone and if you're wondering about this little stand that i'm using on your shirt like mine is up a little high and it might be a little harder for the microphone to hear your voice but again this will give you some idea of what the sound quality would be like if the microphone was pretty much like right underneath your neck like it is on mine and then here I have the external lapel mic clipped right onto my shirt. So this will give you some idea of what the sound quality would be like for a situation just like this. You'd probably be using this again if you were vlogging or recording some audio where you needed to use both of your hands. And then here I'm doing a little impromptu <coughs> vlog. I'm holding on to the handle for that whole tripod setup that I showed you. I'm using an external lav mic. So this is the audio quality you can sound like if you're using a scenario just like this. And then here's a little audio sample of what it sounds like using the dead cat. Now it's probably a little dead muffled cat. than it would be normally, but if there's a lot of wind, you definitely don't want that wind into your microphone because it's going to sound horrible. So I'd rather use the dead cat, have it muted a little bit, but still be clear. Now, one really important thing about the mono and stereo switch is the fact that these microphones are not stereo, they're mono. So when you're using two of them, they use one per channel. So if you're only using one mic, regardless if you have it on mono or stereo, it's only going to be using that one channel. If you're using these mics in like an interview situation uh, with another person, one microphone will be on one channel and the one microphone will be on another channel. So now my voice should be coming out of one side of the speaker. And then if I talk into the other microphone, it'll come out through the other channel. So this is an example of only using one transmitter. While the receiver is still in stereo, this will give you an idea of what you're going to hear. You knew, right? You Dead cat. That I'm all about it. To both sides. All right, so it's pretty windy outside, right? That's going in a song ASAP. Now I am using the Dead Cat, so this will give you a pretty good idea of what the audio quality would sound like trying to record audio outside when it's kind of drizzling uh, and it's a little windy. So I'm going to go ahead and walk all the way down the street and we'll see how far we can for a signal. So I feel if I go any further, it might not work. So again, it is kind of windy out here. As you can see, there's quite a few uh, tumbleweeds uh, going across the street. I think it was only one bar Pretty missing good range. from the unit. When I get back to my computer right now, I'll... You have to pretend to sleep. Well said. I read your good advice there, too. Yeah, I, I'm so bad about sending stuff, returning stuff, but I should. I'm almost back to the camera, as you can see. I'm... I think I should. All right, so he's not doing it. Come back home. There recording you go. with these lapel mics is going to be if you're wearing a jacket or maybe a shirt to an issue when I was recording with these mics. You really just plug the receiver into your phone, turn on the transmitter, and you're off and running. Now I did have the mic gain turned up all the way and it sounded excellent. So I think if you're gonna get these yourself, I would just go ahead and turn up the microphone all the way to six, unless you're gonna have the thing right next to your mouth. They're also really lightweight and super compact, so if you're going to use these on the go, you can easily slide this into your pocket if you're going to use the external microphone, or if you're just going to clip this onto your shirt, it's definitely not going to weigh it down.
Now the battery should last you between two or three recording sessions before you have to pop it back into the station to give it another charge. But depending on how long your video sessions take, you might have to charge it up a little sooner. I've used a couple other Movo microphones and they've never disappointed me and this is no exception. I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a wireless microphone system that's going to give you excellent range. Page shill. Page shill is what you are. Definitely getting sponsored vibes. All right, let's just do lavalier latency. This is a real B&H customer story. Steph Mandis came to B&H to take her photography to the next level. She's an artist. Good afternoon. So today's video is going to be a bit different. It's not going to be me talking that much at all. Hallelujah. It's going to be one of my friends, Dane Kelly, who's done sound on hundreds of films, TV shows, anything you could think of. He's way better at sound than what Jordan Clement did with him, but we've Actually, before we get to that, I'm okay. going to talk about some of the tools I use for okay. that. And when I when I look at some clothing or whoever whoever I'm going to be labbing up, yeah. I kind of assess what their outfit is, and then based on that, I'll pick the attachments and that sort of thing. So this one's like the standard one that comes with the Sennheiser G3s or G4s, and it's pretty big. Um, so when you're trying to mitigate rustle there's a lot of surface area that's gonna be wrestling here versus this one here is a Sankin, cost 11. And you can see it's like already half the size. Eliminating clothing wrestle like right there, having something that's half the size is gonna help a lot. Um, but there's a lot of great attachments that also come with that Sankin cost 11. Another great- um, Which is like that little rubber uh, square you have there. Yes. There's a lot of a lot of mounting options depending on your uh, like the style of film you want to shoot. Like some people are fine just taking this, clipping it to the shirt, and like just like this is how I always used to do it. You know, you loop it through there or whatever like yeah. that, and then you just have it on the outside. This is how I used to mic audios, but I always used to. Here's what I used to do. Maybe this you can tell me you know if this is wrong. Is I hated the mic sticking out. Yeah. So I would always try to like clip it to something or hide it mm -hmm. so that drop give me the line here i'll draw this is where it would look like you know and put it off to the side right and what is bad about this because <laughs> i'm just looking at dane looking at it yeah well i mean I, because we don't have this plugged in it's hard to demonstrate but the closer you get the lav to the throat the harder it is to make it sound good where you want to have the lav mic ideally is center of the chest right about here because that's going to pick up the most, like, you're going to get a good full chest sound, okay. plus you're going to be away from the chin enough that you're still getting the high-end intelligibility parts yeah. of the voice. Because yeah. the closer you get um, to the chin, the more uh, frequency content that well, gets. But let's say you're filming yeah. someone like me who has a t-shirt like yeah. this, and I have no change of clothes, yeah. and you have no tape. You're, you're just out in the field, you have no tape, yeah. you just have this. Where would you want me to put this? then yeah, you, your only choice there is to go to the collar and then just make sure it's not too scratchy and then deal with the EQ and post. But what we're saying right now, we'll get into everything else, is this is literally the worst setup. <laughs> so that's why we want to get a thinner mic. One like this. So for this one mic, I've got all these different wow. types of mounts. So these all have a different uh, advantage. The one I use the most is this one here and it fits this specific mic. Um, it's made for it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll when I'm setting this up, I'll have a capsule po poking out just a little bit because you don't want to cover the capsule too much. I find with this, uh, if it slides in too far, you start hearing a lot of sibilance. So like 
when you're saying sibilants, you hear those s. Oh, it's the s. It's the s. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's how my mom talks. Yeah. So good to see you. I'm so excited about the art of documentary. So the, f- the further that slides in, the harsher that is. Like mm-hmm. You can take it out in post, but... And then this guy right here is a little wind cap that fits right on top of the mic. His hat. Nice little hat. So what I'll do on this, there's this If you're cutout. outdoors. If I'm outdoors mm-hmm. uh, or if they're inside even running or something. Okay. Um, I w- what I would do is I'd flip this mount around. Oh, cool. Stick it up. Clip it on. And then just and, shove it back in. And that's going to get rid of some of the wind or, or yeah. air rushing over the capsule. That's going to help for sure. Because like wind rustle, you can't get rid of that. No. So if I'm on a shoot and I know we're going to be doing some inside stuff, some outside stuff, this is how I would probably set their lav on them. Because it's not going to cover too much of like the frequencies. Like It does cut off a little bit of the high end, but nothing that's really that noticeable. And it's going to ensure that you're going to be covered for most windy environments if it gets too windy. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll flip the arm 11 around and then just slide the cap right on. It'll clip. And then just I put it back in for safety. And then when I stick this to somebody, I'm going to put the tape here and then put it this way onto their chest. I'd put some double-sided tape right here. Um, and then depending on how I'm miking the person up, if I'm going to somebody's skin, I'm going to put medical tape down. And then the double-sided tape will go onto that medical tape. If I know we're going to be filming a scene throughout the day where we're inside and outside, I'm going to start with this right here with the wind cap on on the arm 11 and then what i'm going to also have is this rye coat softy on standby like if we do end it's up a ex- really windy day yeah if it's really windy day like this doesn't cut out all the wind so what i would do like this this is pretty extreme like all this fuzz so i've got some scissors in here i'll trim <laughs> a little bit of that off <laughs> you'll do a little hair styling yeah but then what i'll do is um if it gets too windy, I'll pull this off their chests again, put a little. Test one, two, hey, 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 check, check. Check. Oh, wait a second. Check, check. Check, check, check. Test one, two. Uh, hmm. Check. Test one. Check. Check, check, test one, two. Hey, no latency, no latency at all. That feels very natural. Just a regular old microphone. Check one, two, test, test, hey. Now this, latency like crazy. Wow. Two, hey, hey. Check, check. Test one, two, three. Hey. Check. 
check, check, hey, hey. Check one, two, check one, two, three, hey. Hello, hello. That's not going to work. I can't tell if the no, latency is still bad. Man, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Good old fashioned microphone. Oh, look at that. I could I could try restoring the restoring them the software restore I'm going to read what it says Restore does. No, I guess I should probably stop streaming on on YouTube. <laughs> it's just getting... Not much is happening here. Unless we got some new harmonies in. Let me see. All right, not yet. Let you guys go. I'll still be here in Discord if anybody needs me. Mm-hmm. 